store for Visual Studio Code plugin you have to install. And second one is uh, second one is we have to install this um, Python test framework. And third one is this IO unit test. These are the three we have to install. So once the installation is done, come to our uh, Visual Studio Code. I just created a one folder called unit test and I created a file custom test. So I returned the basic uh, you know, package needed. What are the packages needed? I just uh, return it. So the main code I'm going to write. Okay. So first I define the class, my class called email prompt test. So I will unit test asynchronous, sorry. Async test cases, yeah. Fine. So next, the prompt, it won't, you know, alone, it won't execute. This prompt depend upon the dialog set. So dialog set will execute the prompt. So first we have to write the dialog set. Okay. So first we'll define the dialog set. Let's say, for example, dialogs, maybe called as dialog set. So dialog set for state is required. So we have to create the state for the dialog. So we'll create that one. So using uh, we are, if you want to create the dialog set we have to need the conversation state so i will just make it a con state equal to conversation state so this guy indicated a memory storage define it here okay next is next thing is we will create the dialog state so con state dot create property Maybe a property called a dialog state. Dialog state. So pass the dialog state here. Fine. So next thing is in the dialog we have to add the our class. Okay, which class you want to go into execute? So email prompt. So prompt just like email prompt. Here prompt. Okay, fine. So it's clear. So next thing is unit test execute automatically. If you just, uh, you know, if you are familiar with Visual Studio, if you, if you write the unit test, right click and just execute it automatically, execute everything. The same behavior we have to install, uh, you know, we have to write it here. There is no in user interaction. Everything internally we have to pass it. So how to do that? For that one, adapter is helpful, helpful for us. This adapter, test adapter, is provided by bot framework. So you, here you can see the bot builder .core adapter. We are going to use this test adapter to pass our information. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm creating the, oh, sorry. So I'm going to create the object for the adapter. Maybe adapter, adapter, test adapter. The test adapter required the execution function. See here the logic template. These are so many things. Leave it actually. Actually, this guy required the where I should execute, which function I should call. So that we have to write it. For that, I am writing one function called async def test email prompt. Hey, come on prompt so actually it should be okay sorry inside oh yeah, I have to write this code actually yeah fine so now I'm going to write the function here so which function adapter should call so def def execute test maybe smaller execute test let it be there. I have to pass the one name. Let it be there. So first, I have to create the dialog con uh, context. Context. Wait. Dialog dot create context. 
here this turn contacts is required okay so that we have to pass it to this function so it automatically will, it will take so i have to define here turn context turn context just copy and pass it here okay so next thing is what we have to do we have to okay we create the uh, you know context if you just forget it just go and visit my fifth tutorial of dialog you will understand what is a create context so once it's done what we will check okay internally the you know function uh, functions or api it will check okay create context so what should be next there are some you know dialog turn status is some status based on the status it, it will execute so first so what we have to check first we have to check continue dialog so okay what should i continue so that we have to get it from the dialog context okay hey come on dialog context dot continue dialog so we have to check okay results what is the status what should so if we first time there is no state okay the dialog uh, you know turn state is empty okay so i just type it maybe you will come to know here if you see there are uh, different uh, state is available maybe uh, here you can see cancelled or completed or empty so first time initial is empty if it is empty okay empty so we have to create the prompt options prompt options prompt activity okay what activities type activity type messages okay so next thing is one moment hey come on text okay so here we'll ask what is your email address email address that's it come on what happened wait dialog context dot prompt what happened see so email prompt this id and i have to pass the option option else elf okay so results dot status i did some mistake that's the reason the intelligent is not coming maybe yeah options okay results yeah status equal to dialog turn contest completed okay replay to the user i will just explain this code one moment result dot result wait turn contacts sent activity replay that's it okay here what i written core first i have to create the context okay so if i create the context i just call the function called continue dialog so continue dialog will check okay what is my current status of dialog so current status of the dialog is empty so if it is empty what we are doing we are just create the prompt okay so this is just we have to fire this even to the user if you you know if, if normal application if you run it it will throw to the you know uh, user so user enter uh, what is your email address so bot will ask to the user so user will you know send the information so that for that we have to create the uh, prompt okay what we are what we should ask to the user 
so we just create the options uh, so prompt options the prompt option i just men mentioned is uh, should be a message type and the text is this one and uh, i just prompt to the user not the user if now here adapter okay so we just pass it so once it's done if uh, now here we are going to pass that so once it's received it will come here okay and it will check okay what is the status completed because there is no other action everything is completed then once it's done we are just receiving the results and we are sent back to the user replay okay so the test adapter okay so the test adapter we should tell okay you have to call this function that's it so now we have to here we have to do the first step step one wait adapter dot test okay so what we have to test i just uh, maybe some information maybe you put hello here and okay what you should ask now you just copy paste it this code because the same should be if anything different it won't work okay so test hello what is your email? test adapter will call okay what 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 i should test it just what is your email address that's it so next step two step two wait step one dot send here our answer user answer okay my email address is or dot you know at the rate of live.com that's it so wait step two will receive the answer asset replay should be live.com that's it so here what we are doing we are just calling the adapter okay adapter will ask what is your email address here you should match both then once it's, this is matched then we will send okay here this the line number 48 this step 2 so we have to tell what is our input so if I, if I pass this input to the you know uh, test unit test, it will return the email address. So in the replay we are checking, okay, uh, you receive this email or not? That's it. Just save it. Make sure there is no issue here. Fine. So just right click here, and once the plugin has installed, you can see the option. You know, run all test tests or something like that or yeah maybe let will see here you just click run all testers if you click this one oh bug what happened dialog state is not defined what is it dialog dialog state is not defined so this one yes the the problem here is this s missed here i just make a share because dialog set okay so run it yeah now run the test succeeded okay now our unit test is fine i just make sure make it fail here i added one save one more time and go back run again see here there is error because our unit test is failed. So once if you go and you can see the more information, okay, error cannot open. Let's uh, leave it because that's the internal error. Okay, actually this is a problem. We are not uh, find out a, what exact problem. So we have to check line by line. Okay, fine, no problem. I just close it and come back. I just show that output for how, if it is failed, what will happen? That's it. Okay, change it compile yeah so run again that's it so our unit test success uh, here this text explorer actually test some problem by pc it's not coming enable auto run one moment we'll see Yeah, some problem actually once i restarted it's coming so here it will display actually 
So if you click, uh, it's like Visual Studio options. If you click, then automatically it will run. So for example, if I change to some random value here and I run it one second and start again. Say so here you see, it will fail. So if you write multiple functions, you can see all the, you know, all the functions here, which function get, get get failed, you can come and easily find out the functions. Okay. I hope you can understand how to write the unit testing in bot framework. Thanks, guys. Bye for all.